like I'm here and the bathroom door starts going like this, like the bathroom door is behind me or rather in front of me. And I'm like this and the door hinges right here. And I just hear, where is she? Where is she? And um, this was the moment where I thought everything was over. Hold up. I thought I was going to die. Happens to be wrong. 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 Oh man, this story just keeps getting better. And now a true tie-in to things that I normally cover on this channel as Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has called on all of her tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of followers to manually flag down anyone making fun of her. I'm not kidding. I've got the pathetic letter she sent to her sycophants coming up for you. But just a, just a brief reminder, this is the same woman that faked that faked a photo shoot of her standing in front of a fence with nothing there nothing they all wore the same clothes they all pretended to be sad who are you yelling at <laughs> there's nobody there this is the same woman that called for parlor to be deplatformed this is the same woman that last night claimed that there were things that go boom right outside her office when in fact that is a lie it has not been uh, and it, there are absolutely zero things that go boom planted outside by uh supporters of drumpf there were things planted outside both republican and democratic headquarters the night before the speech and currently there is no idea who planted them so uh oh fake news now before we get into the absolute hilarity are you using a vpn because if you're not they're watching you check this out huge shout out to this video sponsor private internet access in current year basically everyone should be using a vpn what is a VPN? Well, it stands for a virtual private network. With private internet access, all of your traffic goes through a secure VPN tunnel, your IP address is hidden, and your data is encrypted. Private internet access is available for all platforms, Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, and many others. They have a strict no logs policy. You can use one subscription to protect up to 10 devices at a time. There's a 30 day money back guarantee and private internet access has given me their best deal ever. Just $2 and eight cents a month plus two months free, which is 83% off. And reviewers love private internet access. CNET rated it as quote spectacular and it got PC makes editor's choice award for the past five years. You can access geo restricted content from websites, YouTube included social media networks, find better deals online, play games blocked in your region and protect your identity by keeping your data encrypted. Pick up this awesome offer available just to my subscribers. It's located in the pinned comment below as well as the description. Start protecting yourself today. Hey, you don't have to use that VPN, but they give a amazing deal to my viewers and they provide extremely important support to the channel. Now, yesterday, if you were following uh, what was one of the most hilarious things ever, uh, AOC had gone on to her Instagram for a 90-minute dramatic reenactment of how she literally almost died. 
Uh, it turned out, though, <laughs> I mean, it, it, it turned out, though, that she was nowhere near anybody. That she was not in any danger at all. Today, hashtag AOC lied was trending. But her crazy fans, simps, decided to flood the hashtag with pictures of pets. Now, that's not exactly the case currently, uh, but this is also after AOC was brutally called out uh, by someone two doors down from her. Nancy May saying, I'm two doors down from her and nobody was in our hallway. There were not in our hallways. It's your eagerness to politicize absolutely anything that deserves condemnation. AOC also went out of her way to disparage the police officer who was there to protect her by saying he had an evil look in his eye. Of course, no evidence whatsoever of that. This woman is probably no more a liar than normal politicians. She's just really good at it. She's really good at getting attention for it. And you see the defense is already on GOP attacks on AOC are cheap, but whether she's telling the truth matters. The commentary on both sides is both ignorant and cynical. Her story revolves around her time spent in her personal office, the location of which is a matter of public record. That she was scared for her life is a subjective claim and one she should dwell on for as long as she needs. And that's fair. Look, she comes out and says she's, she was scared. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people were. You know, these are the people that send our young men and women overseas to fight for oil. But I mean, yeah. Anyway, I can't denounce how, I can't say how she feels. I mean, certainly. I imagine it was scary. The congresswoman did make other dubious claims about that day, ones that require investigation. Representative Ocasio-Cortez accused her fellow elected officials of trying to have her ended. Remember that? When Ted Cruz tweeted his agreement with her about the GameStop trading over Twitter, she tweeted back, I'm happy to work with anyone who doesn't want to have my life ended. She also said she had a, quote, very close encounter with insurrectionists, which turned out to not be the case. Call it what it is, Newsweek. It was a lie. Perhaps most problematic were her hints that Capitol Police were involved or complicit in the whole affair. Quote, to run in the capital, in our nation's capital, and not know if the officer is there to help you or harm you, it's quite traumatizing, she said. With no evidence, of course. A view she reiterated in her most recent video where she describes a man shouting, where is she, and banging on the door, who turned out to be a capital officer there to get her to leave the building. We couldn't read if this is a good situation or a bad one, she said. He was actually trying to put us in a vulnerable situation. Was he actually trying to put us in a vulnerable situation? Again, no evidence whatsoever, right? Of course. None of these claims are true. Uh, the backlash, hilarious. The memes, some of the best ever. So, Literally some of the best ever. But on top of that, on top of that, you know, we we know the me the map meme, but now she's actually begging her followers to flag you for making fun of her. By the way, also Media Matters tries to include Tim Pool in a hit piece about AOC, but they put the clip of me praising her social media savvy while criticizing Trump for bringing the negativity on himself. What are you doing? And you see this it's like a ultra failed slight at Tim Pool. Right-wing media meltdown over AOC's Instagram live about Capitol. The Capitol. Look, I'm not I think it's hilarious. Of course they're all liars. It's just rare when you catch them in the act. Bringing up Steven Crowder, of course, Tim Pool, opportunistic. I I like that way, opportunistic. Everyone's opportunistic, you hacks. If you're not opportunistic, you're doing it wrong. 
But that, I mean, when they say opportunistic, they mean it in a negative way. They, they mean it like, it's like when they call you a reactionary or a, or a, a what is it? Um, what was the other one? Provocateur. Opportunistic Tim Pool accused Ocasio-Cortez from distracting from real issues like the GameStop revolution. Okay. So you just wanted to put Tim Pool in here? Tim's take on it was as milk toast as they come. And then he tweets, "Why do why did AOC think she was going to die an hour before the Capitol was even breached and no one even knew it was a possibility?" I felt that it was the journey of my life was taking. I felt that things were going to be okay. And then I had fulfilled my purpose. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> Oh my God. And now the coup de gras. Is that what the word is for it? AOC just emailed her followers to mass report everyone who tweeted alexandria ocasio smollett so twitter and facebook will take down any posts criticizing or fact checking her this is what a complete meltdown looks like boys and girls as we speak rights right-wing operatives with millions of followers on social media are spreading flat out lies. Oh, like that there were things that go boom right outside your door, Alexandria, or that you were at the Capitol, or or that you that there were anything on the other side of the fence during your photo op. What's so frustrating about these attacks is that once the truth comes out, so few people get to hear it. Hundreds of thousands or maybe millions of people will have already seen and shared the misleading tweets or fake news articles. Let me be very clear. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is Donald Trump. She's Donald Trump for the left wing. That's just, that's who she is. We need your help. Here's what you can do. Help combat this campaign of disinformation. One, scan your social media to find posts with misleading information, meaning anything mean about AOC, especially those using trending hashtag. Don't tweet the hashtags yourself. We don't want to spread them further. Identify posts that are being mean and use the built-in report feature to flag them for moderators. Facebook and Twitter both have built-in tools for reporting posts and tweets that break the rules. You're literally asking your, your, your supporters to police the internet and remove memes. We can help set the record straight when people spread falsehoods. We can keep calling out the Photoshop tweets and fake news articles and misleading posts when we see them. <laughs> and people actually were getting banned for it. Here's Peter Lloyd. I'm back 12 hours in the Twitter gulag for posting memes of AOC. It's interesting. It's interesting to me. Uh, you know, I was surprised that the hashtag was even allowed to trend in the first place. But the fact that Twitter, uh, you know, what this is, is literal targeted, uh, a targeted campaign to attack anybody who is uh, critical or making fun of her. Written in such a slimy way that she has plausible deniability. Like, well, I just wanted to report the terms of service breaking once. I'm sure that's exactly how your weirdo followers read it, psychopath. Uh, what, an, what an amazing day on day two of... <laughs> yeah, that's a great... <laughs> Oh, the memes are unbelievable. Uh, and, and you know, I'll probably die out today. And everyone will forget, just like their, her epic photo shoot that was fake. Or all the time she's been called out for other hilarious self-serving lies. See, her lies are a little bit different, which is what makes her more hilarious. She's doing it for, like, social media clout. They have this meeting today at the Capitol where they're all going to share their stories of survival. Get over it. You know, I'm supposed to believe that we've got this super huge, uh, you know, the coof going around and everybody's, you know, that's supposed to justify Main Street getting shut down and Amazon making more money than ever and uh, and supposed to justify schools being shut down uh, and, um, you know, people's jobs being lost and all this stuff, uh, burying our country in debt. All is so important, right? 
if it is, maybe act like it. Maybe don't take an hour for pity party time. Uh, and that's both sides of the aisle. And, you know, AOC, maybe don't do a 90-minute Instagram Live where you lie easy, in an easily detectable way because you're going to get dunked on. And begging people to report posts making fun of you is about as pathetic as it gets. Make sure you check out this video's sponsor, Private Internet Access, using the pinned comment down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe and you check back often because I upload daily. Hope you enjoyed. We'll talk to you again real soon.